Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I am going to be melting one of every lipstick from Sephora together into one giant mega lipstick. That's right, we're taking bad makeup science to the next level. So I've previously mixed all my nude lipsticks, my foundations, eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks, and highlighters together, and honestly, I've been surprisingly pleased with the results. But of course, all of those experiments were limited to my makeup collection. Things that I bought for myself to suit my own tastes, complexion, skin type, etc. So I thought if I could buy one of every lipstick from Sephora and melt them all together into a batch of Frankenfora lipsticks, I would be able to both satisfy my ever-growing desire to melt makeup and also get an insight into what Sephora thinks are its most marketable lipstick colors. Because presumably what will emerge from the fiery depths of this mixture is the midpoint of all of Sephora's lipstick shades. Now obviously when I melt down all of these lipsticks, I'm gonna make more than just one lipstick, so I'm gonna take these extra tubes that I make and give them back to you guys as a subscriber giveaway. I'm sorry it's not a MacBook Air, it's just a bad makeup science experiment that you might not even want after I've put my grubby hands all over them. But I thought it'd be fun to share them with you guys as a novelty item, and we'll share the rules for the giveaway at the end of the video. As an additional note, to address the question of how the hell are we going to do this, this video is sponsored by Quid. Now, if you haven't heard of Quid, it's a free app that you can get right now on the App Store that basically has tons of stickers, gifts, and tradable cards for different TV shows, movies, YouTubers, and other fandoms that you can collect and share. So it's kind of like Bitmoji, but with a wider variety of things. The feature that I love is that you can integrate the stickers into your iMessage keyboard and then send them like emojis. Quid actually made us our own sticker pack, so if you download the app, you can get that and then harass all of your friends with Krusty's face. So a big thank you to Quid for helping us produce our non-FDA approved Frankenfora makeup line, and I hope you guys go check them out and download the app if you want to try it out. All right, let's do this. So based on some cursory research, we don't have enough money, even with our sponsorship, to buy one of every lipstick sold on Sephora.com. So instead, we decided to focus this experiment on what Sephora stocks in their actual stores. All right, so I've got my GoPro strapped to my chest and we're gonna go try and buy one of every lipstick that the Sephora stocks, which narrows the scope of this midpoint lipstick to what Sephora and their vendors think will actually market and sell in person. I don't know what's gonna happen in there. I don't know how they're gonna react to this. Hopefully my credit card works and um, hopefully we can actually afford to buy all of the lipsticks that they have. Just so we're not mixing too many elements, I'm gonna make sure that every product we buy is a traditional lipstick, not a liquid lipstick, gloss, pencil, or balm, but I'm open to any finish, including sheer, metallic, matte, cream, whatever. There is the dynamic of like, what if a lipstick is sold out? And I'm I'm sure there's gonna be one or two colors that are just plain not there. But if I notice that a lot of colors are missing from a particular brand or line, I'm gonna make sure to fill in as many blanks as I can by going to another Sephora. It's not exact makeup science. It's bad makeup science. Oh my God, I can't believe we just did that. We had to call our bank to tell them that it was okay. This is nuts. I can't wait. We have so many good colors. I would like to say, a giant thank you to everyone who was working at that Sephora. You guys helped us check out all of these lipsticks and you put up with us and I know we're insane. So yeah, let's go home. All right, so we're here with all of our lipsticks ready to get a chopping, smacking, and melting. We're actually at a boba shop in downtown LA right now called Milk and Tea because we needed a true utilitarian kitchen. So basically what we've done is we've separated all the lipsticks out by like color category. We've got nudes, reds, pinks, purples, oranges, browns, miscellaneous others. So um, this is gonna be an adventure. All right, so let's start off with something I've melted before, which is nudes. You're like King Kong right now. Now that they're all uncapped, the lipstick smell is just like wafting around the room. I feel like these are like the terracotta soldiers, you oh, know? Yeah. There's just rows and rows of them, and some of them have different jobs. There's a couple of magistrates, a few foot soldiers, a few cavalrymen. It's all coming together. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is basically grab them, swatch them, and then put them into the pot. All right, ready? As ready as I can be. All right. <gasps> 
And then at the end, after we've got all of our lipsticks inside, then we'll turn up the heat and try and melt these things all together. The thing that's really motivating me here is the end product. I know that we're gonna end up with, you know, hopefully hundreds of new baby lipsticks. So um, I'm okay destroying some makeup. Usually it would hurt me, but I'm trying to think past that. You're like a hibachi chef. I call this one Urban Decay in the Pocket. I feel like I'm even like getting more lipstick out than you usually would. I feel like usually when you get to the bottom of the lipstick where you can't push up anymore, I usually give up. But listen, I'm getting down into the nitty gritty. Soft's actually saving lipstick. Exactly. Waste not, want not is what this video is all about. <laughs> all right, so it's been about, what would you say, 30 minutes? It's been about 30 minutes of me swatching and chopping and scooping, and I haven't really made that much of a dent into the nude lipsticks, so I'm gonna have Tyler help me. I couldn't do it all by myself. I'm here for backup. I've washed my hands, so I'm ready to dive in. Tyler, I've been trying really hard not to forget to swatch. Don't forget to swatch. Woo! You got one? Oh, it's very satisfying. All right, and scoop out the insides. I love pulling them out. That's so fun. I feel like I got every last drop. What happened? I think I forgot to swatch the last two. It's too late. Tyler. I'm just throwing it off. All right, so this is the last lipstick of all of our nudes. This is the Kat Von D Ludwig. <sighs> and that's how Ludwig died. All right, nudes, a chick. Okay, so we've got all of our red lipsticks laid out right over here, ready to be schmacked in. A few things have changed. First off, we've swatched all of them already, so that step is out of the way, so hopefully we'll be a bit swifter. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go in. Oh, yeah, going ham already. See, now that we don't have to swatch, life's different. Life is better. So Tyler has prototyped this saw and extract with knife method. It's a fun challenge, but it only really works with hard lipsticks. Oh, yes. See, Anastasia, she'll never let you down. Her lipsticks are hard. I like a firm mattress and a hard lipstick. I call this one the Wolverine. Oh my God. This started at guillotine and it's like now sort of progressed to like 13th century torture methods. Yeah, whoever knocks it in but keeps theirs wins. Ready? No, we're gonna knock it on the floor. I do not condone. I did not see. <laughs> no. All right, so these are the last two reds. <laughs> That is the worst feeling. <gasps> Someone laughed a bit too soon. All right, reds, done. Okay, so we've got all our pink lipsticks laid out here. I thought that the reds were the most populous of all the lipsticks, but I think it's actually the pinks. I have so rarely wear pink lipstick. It's an interesting thing to be confronted with so many. There's gonna be some yeah. scoop porn right here, ready? Ooh. I honestly think the pink ones might be softer. They're very soft. I think it has something to do with like the coloring. Or the formula. Well, the color affects the formula. Ah. Are you trying to introduce some good makeup science into this? No, never. Anastasia is my girl. Oh my God, leave me alone. So once we're done with the pink, I feel like the only large grouping left are the purples. The rest of them are pretty small. We're in striking distance. I think we're almost there. Uh, we might run out of time to actually do the melting here tonight. Most of the reason we were at this boba place was to use their freezer for the molds, yeah. but we might just have to stick them in our freezer. Just clear it out. Oh, well, that is the very last pink. Boom. All right, so up next is a little interstitial category, the browns. See, these are more my speed. I like a good brown lipstick. I don't know about all these pink ones. I think the invisible hand of Sephora corporate development chose more pinks, okay? So yeah. <laughs> you just gotta put up with it. I think the browns might be a bit firmer. Oh yeah, I am on a roll right now. You oh, just kidding. Oh no. As I say that, I just cut one in half. You choked. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. There it is. There she blows. What are you gonna, get out of here with your boba straw, ew. No, but put it in, <laughs> put it in the pot, damn it. All right, so that's the browns, check. Up next are the purples. Purple is a little bit of a loose definition here. I would call them purple slash berry lipsticks. Yes. But this is our last big hurdle, and then we just have some fun ones left. Makeup forevers are impossible. I don't know, I just don't think you're stroking it quite right. One thing I underrated going into this was just how real the trash talk would be. Well, you were trash talking me from the beginning when you were behind the camera. You weren't doing it right. Cut to compilation of Tyler mistakes. Cut to compilation of Tyler forgetting to swatch in the first round. Did you swatch that one? Oh. Did you swatch that one? Yes, I did. This is the definition of swagger, right here. I'm gonna do no look, okay? I'm not gonna look either. I'm just gonna look straight into the camera. Did that work? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. I was trying to call my shot. This is gonna be a Babe Ruth. I'm gonna do a no look around this one, ready? All right. 
no look perfect extraction. Oh, that was pretty legit. Oh my God, I did that. See I ya. just walk away. All right, see ya. All right, so purples. Chick. All right, so these are our last lipsticks that we have left. We've got basically our oranges and our miscellaneous colors, which are kind of like white, black, blue, gray, and green. Let's do oranges first and then the strange ones last. The oranges are impossible. The oranges are so annoying. They're a little pulpy, if you know what I mean. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, let me see if I can't at least get the last one out perfectly. Oh, that's nice. Smooth, like an eel. What? That's what I am. Oh my God, just kidding. <laughs> the weird colors are a little bit harder to predict. Yeah, like all the grays I've gotten have been very soft, but all the blacks and blues have been very stiff, which is how I like them. Okay, so we are finally on our very last lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Insomniac, which is fitting because we're up pretty late right now. Yeah. Oh, what a way to end it. Why are we so excited about this really stupid skill? That was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so those are all of our lipsticks. That took us about, what, three and a half hours to do? So we're out of time here in the store. So we're gonna take our pot of lipsticks home with us and melt them in the morning. And we'll just figure out the freezer situation. Let's go. All right, so we're back at our house in our kitchen with our giant pot full of lipstick. So I'm gonna turn this hot plate onto its like highest setting and try and melt them all down into our final mega Franken Sephora formula. Just rolls off the tongue. There is a sort of like critical mass of lipstick in there. Like there's a lot of layers to melt through. So if we have to assist it from the top, we will. All right, so it's been probably about an hour and there has been some progress with the melting, but I think that we kind of need to help this along. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to leave this hot plate on overnight, like a legitimate crock pot. So we've got a couple of things to assist in the melting process. The first of which are hair dryers. All right, let's see, ready? Yeah. Oh, it's moving, Sa. That's melting, oh yeah. So the hair dryer kind of worked, but I want to try something a little more powerful, such as the blowtorch. All right, I've got my safety stuff on, my goggles, my gloves. Don't do any blowtorching without, you know, being safe. And with that, let's begin. Oh yeah. That one white one is like already like just completely disintegrated. When it starts smoking, I start getting nervous. I feel like the blowtorch is like the inside of Mount Doom and the hairdryer is like the hot winds of Mordor. All right, I think we've done a decent amount of heating from the bottom and from the top. So I'm gonna grab one of my spatulas and just start mixing it together. And I think like turning it over will help it melt completely through. It's like a chunky stew. Yeah, it's like chili. So right now it's starting to look pretty pinky. You guys saw how many pinks really went into this, but I know that there are some blues and greens and blacks that are mixed in there that aren't fully melted yet. You think we should whisk it? You know, that's not a bad idea. All right, ready? Yeah, let's go. Here's the hand mixer. And oh no, <laughs> no! What should we do? <laughs> All right, ready? Oh my God, it's bubbling. I think that's working. Well, if there were any chunks left, I think they're gone now. Okay, so I think we've got all the chunks out and I think that some of the air bubbles have come out with the hair dryer. I feel like this hot plate did a good job of like getting all the lipstick soft and ready to mix, but I feel like it's not quite keeping it hot enough to like keep it really liquid. So I'm gonna try and put this on the burner. Oh, oh. The thing is like it might not, evenly heat it, but I feel like it'll keep it hotter. So I'm just gonna try and get that as liquidy as possible, and then we'll get that ladle in there and uh, start pouring it into the molds. Okay, so I've got my lipstick molds right here. Yes? In your ladle? This is my double, double toil and trouble ladle. All right, let's see. Careful, careful. Very careful. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that left something to be desired. I'm gonna try and do better. We almost like need like a bigger ladle or something. How much bigger ladles do they make than that one? I don't know. I don't know if this is what they expected. So I'm gonna fill up the other one and then I'm gonna put them both in the freezer. All of the tragedy of last night is being redeemed in this rebirth. There we go. Franken lipstick in the freezer. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, so let's see if they're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna use this frosting spreader to get rid of the excess lipstick. Then I'm gonna open up the mold and hopefully we'll have our lipstick ready in there to be tubed. 
Ta-da! Oh my god. And there are our lipsticks. So in the end, our Frankenfora concoction included 603 lipsticks from 20 different brands, with 126 nudes, 113 reds, 132 pinks, 57 browns, 120 purples, 21 oranges, and 34 unusual colors. They don't all look perfect, but they definitely look like lipsticks. All right, so basically, I'm gonna put our Franken lipstick inside of the tube right now. Do I just pre press it in? Did it twist up and down? Yeah, it should twist up and down, ready? Oh yeah. Boom. And out of those lipsticks, we made 500 tubes for you guys. So I guess about 100 lipsticks boiled off or ended up on the pot or the cutting board. Congratulations to me on birthing this lipstick. Now, when we went back to the Sephora a couple of weeks later to grab snapshots of the brand headers, I noticed two lipstick displays that were either new additions or that we had accidentally missed in our first buying. They total about 25 lipsticks and the color breakdown seems to be pretty similar to our general statistics with the exception of this gold lipstick. So that's my bad. But the 603 that we got is close to every lipstick at the Sephora, or if those are new additions, every lipstick at the Sephora. All right, ready for the lip swatch? Yes. Oh my God. Well, that's a hearty lipstick right there. This is the Mega Franken Sephora lipstick. It's kind of crazy that it's actually here. It's finally here. I like the color. It is more reddish and pinkish than I would usually go. It's a little festive. It's a little cranberry-ish. It's a little rhubarb. This is almost even like an orchid color. I could go on and on. So now that I have this and it's on my face, I'm gonna make and tube the rest of these. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wear my tube all day long and see what happens. All right, so it's a couple of days later and I'm finally ready to do my wear test of our Megan Franken for a lipstick. So you guys have seen the swatch previously, so I think we can just put it straight on the mouth. Oh wow, one swipe Sally is what I'm gonna call this. No, I'm not gonna call it that, but I could. So that is applied. I think the thing I like the most about this lipstick right off the bat is not only how pigmented it is, but how like covered my mouth is. Let's take a look at the butthole inner rim coverage while I say that. Besides that, the formula feels pretty nice. It's definitely not like drying down to be like a matte lipstick at all. It's kind of hovering around that cream area. I wouldn't call it like shiny, but it's got a sheen. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since I've put this lipstick on and it's still on, so that's good. So our first test for our Franken for a lipstick is a straw test. So I'm gonna get a nice big iced coffee with a large straw and I'm gonna take a few sips and see how this handles like a transferring challenge. You got some on your tooth. Already? <gasps> You're right. All right, so basically, I'm just gonna drink this coffee that I so desperately need. And then after I come back up for air, we'll check the straw and the lips. I definitely see a big old smudge on this side. I think most traditional lipsticks are not transfer proof, so there wasn't like a really high chance that this would just be like perfectly non-transferable. But I think the biggest question to me is how are my lips gonna look after like drinking this whole thing? And also, is this gonna start transferring around my face? So I finished the whole coffee, we were in the car for about an hour and a half. There's definitely a lot of lipstick on the straw and Tyler like had his hand like next to the cup holder. So there's like a little bit of lipstick on his shirt. Besides it transferring onto other things, I haven't noticed it like transferring around my face. And I will say that like from far away, my lipstick still looks pretty good on my mouth. All right, so next up for me and this lipstick, well, and Tyler, but mostly me and this lipstick, is that we're gonna eat some ice cream. That's just mustache right there. That one like incredibly dark hair. But there definitely is a mark of lipstick right here too. So I do think that after eating this ice cream, I've taken a bit of a hit in the lipstick area. Now, I actually think the lipstick that's left on my lips still looks decent. I wouldn't wanna reapply yet, but I definitely would want to like clean this up. Okay, so it's been about five and a half hours since I first applied the lipstick. And I think at this point, there is definitely still like lipstick left on my lips, but it is definitely like the last coat of it. So we're gonna grab dinner right now, which may um, destroy this lipstick even more. And then afterwards, we're gonna pop by Sephora and try and find a dupe. All right, so after all of our swatching at Sephora, the two lipsticks that ended up being the closest dupes for our Frankenfora lipstick are the NARS lipstick in Afghan Red and the Sephora 
lip stories in Golden Gate. Actually, in this lighting, the NARS looks like the best dupe. I think that there were a lot of lipsticks like in the same family, which makes sense, but actually it was hard to find a lipstick that was as dusty as this one. A lot of the purples and like plums were a bit more vibrant. All right, so we've reached the end of the day wearing our Frankenfora lipstick, and I think it is sort of still on. It kind of just feels like there's like a thin coating of pink left over from what I applied at the beginning of the day. That said, it feels pretty nice on my lips. I don't feel too dry, but I also don't feel like it's a balm. Like it does feel like a full bodied lipstick. So as to what we should name our Frankenfora creation, I actually thought that that would be a great thing to do for the giveaway. So I was thinking that the rules for the giveaway should be basically that you just have to be subscribed to this channel and also that you have to leave a comment down below as to your suggestion for the name of this Frankenfora lipstick. And we'll basically go through and pick winners based on your name suggestion. A couple of disclaimers, we did use a little bit of almond oil and also latex gloves when removing these lipsticks from the molds. And also just because of shipping costs, we're gonna have to limit the giveaway to subscribers who live in North America. So I'm sorry about that. So make sure to leave your suggestion for the Frankenfora name down below. And once again, a big thank you to Quid for making this entire video possible. I don't know if they knew what they were bringing into the world when they agreed to this. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Salison for watching. Thanks for watching Salison, and I will see you guys uh, next time.